I'd mentioned before with inroads, we had the roadway designer. Okay, we have a plan view, profile view, cross section view. And it, it kind of helped with as we were running design, we could step through cross sections. So we can mimic that in Open Roads Designer as well. So I'm just going to kind of look at that and how we can make Open Roads look the same way. And it's done through the views. So as I have my plan view open, I can change these view attributes. Okay, I, I can change the saved view that I have, or I can open up saved views. Uh, I can change the models. So if I want my 2D model to be in this view, I want my profile model down here in this view. And in this one, I want to open up a, a cross section. So let's go open up a dynamic cross section view. So we're going to open up our dynamic cross sections. I'm going to locate the corridor and I'm going to select the view. And that's going to convert this view to a dynamic cross section view where I can step through those cross sections. Okay, it's going to take a second to load there, let everything refresh. And so now I can step through, I can see my plan, I see my profile, I see my cross sections. And then I want to view information. I'm going to jump back to inroads here. Okay, so we have all this information here where I can quickly pick things like this is the managed corridors. This is all my corridors I have. These are my template drops. These are my point controls. Okay, well, how do I see all that inside of inroads or inside of open roads? So I can open up my corridor objects. If I open up my corridor objects, I select that corridor, and then I'm going to get kind of another dialog box that has that listed out. Okay, so now I have my template drops, point controls. I have all that information here laid out for how this corridor is created. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.